old mates and welcome to another episode of What I Do, where this week we'll be talking about the brand new game Crash Bandicoot, which released for the PlayStation something this week and was developed by some people. Crash Bandicoot is inspired by the seminal platformer Ukulele, which itself was made by the same team who worked on Croc Legend of the Gobbos. One of the best things about Crash Bandicoot actually is the characters. Crash Bandicoot is a very naughty rat who likes to eat apples all of the time, but one day he eats too many apples belonging to Dr. Voldemort, who is the villain character one from the Crash Bandicoot games. Also, Crash wants to fuck a pig. Crash has lots of cool character traits, like being orange, wearing blue pants, and saying whoa a lot. He is shirtless, which has led to his infamous catchphrase, where's my cagoule, where's my fucking cagoule? I know you took my cagoule from me, you fucking bastard. Give it to me or I'll break your fucking neck. Uh, on second thought, I might be thinking about Cagoule Craig, a cartoon character I invented in my imagination when I was bored one night. Imagination. Not masturbation. That's what Father Allman says, and I'm supposed to believe him or I'll go to hell. Crash has lots of cool character tra- oh, I've done that bit. It's important to note that Crash Bandicoot is not in any way related to the Houdini of hardcore Crash Ollie from wrestling, although he was so much fun to watch in the wrestling. When I was a child, I wanted to grow up to be a professional wrestler, but my dad said I was too fat and mum agreed. Instead, they trained me early for what would be my eventual career, long-term unemployment actually, by the way. Also, Crash really wants to fuck a pig. Crash Bandicoot could be considered derivative derivative of other famous mascot platform action platformers. Being a bipedal mammal with cool sneakers who fights an evil doctor and uses a spin attack automatically makes you think of Solid Snake from the hit video game series Super Smash Brothers, which incidentally is where Crash Bandicoot first debuted. Only originally he was blue. Weird how characters can look different when they first come out, like The Simpsons early seasons. Really, even though you can't use a gun in it, Crash Bandicoot is just a great game to kick back with, smoke a baked pot on some LaRue and just have a chill fucking time, yeah? Except for the frustrating bits in the game, which is all of it. Crash Bandicoot is innovative from a business perspective. Rather than release sequels later, developer Viscous Couscous decided to launch Crash Bandicoot 2 and Crash Bandicoot 3 at the same time. Sort of like House of Cards on Netflix, except I'm not allowed to watch House of Cards because of all the boobs and swords and dragons in it. I'm especially not allowed to touch stuff with dragons in it after I got excited and ate my dad's lighter in an attempt to breathe fire. Instead, I nearly died and dad said he'd have been fucking furious if if he wasn't laughing so hard. Anyway, long story short, right, I'm not allowed to play Spyro the Dragon ever again, even though he's way better. And purpler. Purple's colder than orange. Purple's the colour of eggplants. Eggplants are funny looking. Oranges are just boring vegetables. Still, this is a good game, because it's good. Well done, Crash Bandicoot. I guess you won't crash and burn. You're not Spyro, though, are you, you orange fuck? <laughs>